What moved you the most about the film and what do you, did you identify the most in it? The ending. <laughs> It's a difficult, and very difficult to sit and watch a film about you and about your life and about your love. And sorry. Priscilla Presley in tears at the Venice Film Festival while reminiscing over her relationship with the late Elvis Presley. He was the package deal. I mean, his good looks, his voice. There is no one like him. The 78-year-old surprised a crowd of journalists by taking questions at a press conference for Sofia Coppola's biopic about her life, which Priscilla also produced. I think uh, Sofia did an amazing job. <clears throat> um, she did her homework. <clears throat> we spoke a couple of times, and I really put everything out for her that I could. What about boys at school? Must be some handsome ones. Very difficult for my parents to understand that Elvis would be so interested in me and why. And I think, I really do think because I was more of a listener, Elvis would pour his heart out to me in every way in Germany, his fears, his hopes, the loss of his mother, which he never, ever got over. And I was the person who really, really sat there to listen and to comfort him. Elvis was extremely sensitive. Um, you know, you see him singing on stage and he has so much charisma, so much power. He was uh, like a, a wild tiger coming out of a cage on stage. He had, oh my gosh, it was uh, to see him perform. It was an experience, but Elvis, deep inside, was, was, was very sensitive and a very caring human being. Even though I was 14, I was actually a little bit older in, in life, not in numbers. And um, that was the attraction. And, you know, people think, oh, it was sex, it was this. Not at all. I never had sex with him. He was very kind, very soft, very loving. But he also respected the fact I was only 14 years old. We were more in mind and thought. And that was our relationship. Yes, he called me uh, when things were, when he came back to the States. That was also part of our relationship, telling me all his woes on, on what was happening and how upset he was on the screen um, with the director. And I don't know why he put so much trust in me, but he did. And I never, ever, ever told anyone that I was seeing him. And that was another, uh, another issue that he, that he uh, loved, is the fact that I never gave him up in any way. I never told anyone at school that I was seeing him. So we built a relationship, and that uh, relationship went on until, yes, uh, I left, and it wasn't because I didn't love him. He was the love of my life. It was the lifestyle that was so diff difficult for me, and I think any woman can relate to that. But it didn't mar our relationship. We still remain very, very close. And of course, we had our daughter, and I made sure that, you know, he saw her all the time. And we had, it was like we, we never left each other. So I want to make that clear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. You.